Good morning, everybody. I am V R Seshigrilao, Associate Professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering. I welcome you all to this series of lectures on V electronic devices and circuits. Today, I am going to discuss about the positive and negative peak clippers and their operation. So, clipper is a circuit that rejects a part of the input wave specified and it allows the remaining portion. So, it blocks the unwanted portion and it allows only the desired portion. So, the portion of the wave above or below the cutoff voltage is determined by the reference voltage. The main advantage of uh, clipping circuits is to eliminate the unwanted fluctuations or noise present in the signal cell. And these uh, clippers can work as square wave converters because they convert the sine wave into square waves by the clipping. Of course, you will not get perfect square wave shape, but uh, nearly square wave shape we get by the clipping operation. And the amplitude of the desired wave can be maintained at the required level. So, clipper is a circuit that allows only the desired part of the wave or the desired part of the signal and it blocks the unwanted part of the signal. So, the advantage is it can eliminate the unwanted noise which is present in the signal side. And these uh, clippers, they can work as square wave converters because they convert the sine wave into square waves by the clipping. And the amplitude of the desired wave can be defined by changing the reference level. So, finally, clipper circuit is intended to attenuate for some positive portions of the signal and these uh, the circuit which attenuate the positive portions of the input signal, they are termed as positive clipper. So, if any clipper circuit blocks the positive portion of the signal, then they are called as positive clipper. So, among uh, the positive diode clipper circuits, there are uh, six following types. One is the positive series clipper and positive series clipper with positive voltage VR and positive voltage clipper with negative VR, positive shunt clipper, positive shunt clipper with positive VR and positive shunt clipper with negative VR. So, these are the six varieties of positive clippers. What is a positive clipper? Positive clipper is a circuit which cuts the positive portion of the wave. That means the positive amplitudes are attenuated. So, these are called as the positive clippers and the categories among the positive clipper circuits are positive series clipper, then positive series clipper with positive VR, then positive series clipper with negative VR, positive shunt clipper, then positive shunt clipper with positive VR and positive shunt clipper with negative VR. So, these are the six categories of positive series clippers. So, here this is a circuit diagram of a positive series clipper and here a diode is connected uh, in series with the input signal. So, always in uh, series clippers, the diode is connected in series with the input signal. Now, in this uh, following figure, you can see that the diode is connected in series with the input signal and it attenuates the positive portions of the waveform. So, this is uh, called as the positive series clipper and this is the diagram <coughs> of the positive series clipper. So, you can see here that uh, the negative terminal of the bat, uh, the negative terminal of the diode is connected to the input signal. The anode terminal is connected to the resistive load and input is applied to the cathode of the diode or to the n point the diode. So, and here this is very easy to understand 
uh, when <coughs> the voltage is a positive, so you can uh, the diode D is the reverse biased and it acts like an open switch. So the positive portions of the input signals are not positive to the output because the diode acts as a open switch for the positive signals because the diode is reverse biased for the positive signals. And for our discussion in this clipper circuit, we assume that the diodes are ideal. So the diode is ideal. What is an ideal diode? An ideal diode is when it is forward biased, it acts like a closed switch and it allows full scale currents. And when the diode is reverse biased, it acts like a open switch and it does not allow the passes of any current. So, when the diode is forward biased, it acts like a closed switch. This is the ideal diode. So, in forward biased, the diode acts like a closed switch. And when the diode is reverse biased, the pins when you apply negative voltage to the P terminal and positive voltage to the N terminal, it acts like a open switch. Now, for the diodes which are used in the keeper circuits, we assume that they are ideal diodes. So, an ideal diode is one which acts like a closed switch when it is powered by Austin. So, it almost offers zero resistance. When you apply a reverse bias, that means when you apply a positive voltage to the cathode and a negative voltage to the anode, then it is reverse biased and it acts like an open switch. So, in this case, which is a um, when the signal is a positive, then this diode is a reverse biased and the current through the resistance is zero and we get the zero voltage. So, for the, for the positive portions of the signal, we get zero voltage. When this input waveform goes negative, then this diode is Powered by Austin and it actually closes the switch and the output V0 is equal to VI. So we get the signal like this. So here the positive portion of the input signal is chopped off. That is why this is called as positive series keeper. Why it is called series keeper? Because the diode is connected in series with the input waveform. So, this is uh, the positive series keeper. So, here the diode is connected in series with the input signal and it attenuates the positive portions of the input signal. That is why this is called as positive series keeper. So, basically it contains the diode and the resistor. This circuit is similar to the half your rectifier circuit. So, when the input voltage is applied, the positive uh, part to the input, it makes the diode or point A in the circuit positive with respect to the point B and this makes the diode at your way austin and the diode it acts like an open switch. So, the voltage across the road resistor becomes zero and practically no current goes through it. So, V0 will be zero. And contrary to this, during the negative cycle of the input, uh, the point A, what is the point A? See, this is a circuit. So, this is a point A and this is the point B. So, during negative cycle of the uh, input waveform, that means during this portion, the point A is negative with respect to the point B and this makes the diode forward biased and it behaves like a closed switch. So, whatever voltage you apply at the input, it appears across the load resistor. So, a clipper uh, in which the diode is connected in series with the input signal and biased with a positive reference voltage Vr and that is called as positive series clipper with positive Vr. So, here you can see uh, that this is the diode which is connected in series with the input signal and it is biased with a DC voltage Vr. 
So this is a positive series clipper with positive VR. And uh, how do you understand or how do you interpret the operation of the circuit? So when the input signal is positive, the diode is reverse biased and you don't get any, uh, the, the diode is reverse biased and uh, the voltage across the load resistor is nothing but the included DC bias voltage. So we get VR. Okay, we get VR. So this is VR. And when the voltage becomes zero, when the voltage becomes zero or negative, then this diode is reverse biased. Or you can say when the applied voltage is less than VR, when the applied voltage is less than VR, then this diode is forward biased. So for this portion of the waveform, you know that this voltage is less than VR. So uh, when the voltage at cathode is less than the voltage at anode, you know that the diode is forward biased and it acts like a closed switch and whatever input you apply at the cathode, it appears across the load terminals. So in this portion, the diode is forward biased and the total input signal appears across the load. But again, at this point, again, the uh, the applied voltage is uh, the applied voltage is more than the DC bias voltage. So the diode is reverse biased, and so the voltage is clipped off to plus VR. So this is how the circuit works. So this is the positive series clipper with positive VR. So that means the positive portion of the waveform which is more than VR is eliminated. The positive portion of the input signal which is more than VR is blocked. So that is why this is called as positive series clipper with positive VR. So if you reduce the VR value to zero then what happens? The the waveform becomes like this. You get the waveform like this. If VR is zero. If VR is positive, then you get this type of waveform. So whatever voltages which are more than plus VR, they are blocked or they are eliminated. So this is the positive series clipper with positive VR. Now we will discuss the positive series clipper with negative VR. So this is the circuit of the positive series clipper with negative VR. The only difference here is uh, earlier VR is positive, but now VR terminals are reversed and this is the positive series clipper with negative VR. So here the diode is connected in series with the input signal and it is, but the difference is it is biased with negative reference voltage. So it also attenuates the positive portions of the waveform, but it attenuates more of the positive portions of the waveform and uh, this is termed as positive series keeper with negative VR. So here you get the waveform like this. So when you use uh, a positive series clipper with negative VR, it attenuates some portion of the negative waveform, and, uh, some portion of the negative values also. So not only the positive portion of the waveform, but you see this negative portion of the waveform to some extent that is also is chopped off. So when you use the negative bias voltage VR. So let me again elaborate to the operation of this. So during positive cycle of the input, the diode is a reverse bias and the reference voltage, it appears across the output. And when the reference voltage is negative, the same voltage with the constant amplitude is shown. And during the negative cycle, the diode gets forward bias and it acts like a closed switch. So hence the input signal which is more negative than the reference voltage, it appears across the output. Now, 
let us discuss the positive shunt clipper. So, what is a shunt clipper? In shunt clipper, the diode is connected in shunt with the input signal, that means parallel to the input signal, and it attenuates um, accordingly depending upon the uh, by, uh, depending upon the position of the diode, it can work as a positive clipper or negative clipper. So, this is a circuit of the positive shunt clipper. So, it attenuates the positive portions of the waveform. And here also we assume that the diodes are ideal. So, when uh, the applied voltage is positive, then what happens? The this point is uh, at higher voltage than uh, this point and the diode is forward biased and when the diode is forward biased it actually closes the switch. So, the zero voltage appears across the load. So, for positive portion of the input signal you get zero voltage. So, you get zero voltage because the diode is forward biased and we are assuming that the diode is ideal. And when the voltage becomes negative, then what happens? The diode anode terminal is lesser voltage compared to the cathode voltage. So, the diode is reverse biased and it acts like a open switch. So, we get full shape of the input signal. So, whatever input we apply, all the input it applies all the input it appears across the load resistor. So, when the voltage is negative, the diode acts like an open switch and the output is equal to the input signal. So, we get like this. So, as you see here, the positive portion of the input signal is removed. So, that is why this is called as positive clipper and it is called as shunt clipper clipper because the diode is connected in parallel to the input signal. Now, we will discuss about the positive shunt clipper with the positive reference voltage. So, this is a positive shunt clipper with positive voltage. So, here the diode is connected in shunt to the input signal and it is biased with a positive reference voltage. So, it attenuates uh, the positive portions of the waveform and it also uh, uh, so whatever voltages which are more than the reference voltage they are blocked. So, that is why this is called as the positive shunt clipper with positive VR. Now, let us see when the voltage is positive. When the applied voltage is positive, then what happens? Uh, this diode is forward biased. When the applied positive voltage is when the applied voltage is positive and when it is more than the VR, then only the diode is forward biased, then uh, you get whatever reference voltage is there, it is going to appear. And when the applied voltage is less than, when the applied voltage is less than VR, then what happens? The diode is reverse biased and it acts like an open switch. And whatever input signal is applied at the input terminals, it appears in full form at the output terminals as shown here. And again, when it, when it comes here, the applied voltage is more than the reference voltage VR, and the diode becomes power biased and it acts like a closed switch. So, when actually a closed switch, this VR appears across the output terminals and you get a constant voltage of VR at the output. So, this is how the diode operates when it is connected in shunt with the input signal and when it is 
given a positive brass. Now let us see the operation of circuit when negative bias voltage is given. So here uh, the circuit is same but the voltage is negative here. So when the voltage is negative here for positive portions of the input signal the diode is powered by asked and this total negative voltage appears across the load this way. And when the applied voltage is more negative than the VR value, then the diode is reverse biased and the input signal appears in full form at the output terminals. So, this way the circuit operates when it is given a negative bias voltage. So, when the applied voltage is positive, then what happens? Uh, the diode is uh, forward biased and it acts like a closed switch, and the output voltage across the load is nothing but Vr, negative Vr, so like this. And when the applied voltage is negative, then uh, the diode is reverse biased, and whatever uh, input you apply, it is going to appear across the load. So, this is how the circuit operates. Now, let us uh, discuss about the negative clippers. So, the clipper circuit which is intended to attenuate the negative portions of the input signal is termed as negative clipper. So, among negative clipper circuits, we have the following types. We have a negative series clipper and we have a negative series clipper with positive VR. We have a negative series clipper with negative VR and we have a negative shunt clipper and we also have the negative shunt clipper with a positive VR and negative shunt clipper with negative VR. So, let us uh, see the circuits one by one. So, first is the negative series clipper. which eliminates or which blocks the negative portions of the input signal. So, this circuit is similar to the half wave rectifier. You know the half wave rectifier circuit we have the diode and the load resistor. The input is applied at this point and uh, we are very familiar with the output of the half wave rectifier. This is the circuit of half wave rectifier. So, here you can see that the negative portion of the input signal is blocked. So, that is why this is called as negative clipper. And why it is called negative series clipper? Because the diode is connected in series with the input signal. So, that is why this is called as the negative series clipper. Now, let us see the negative series clipper with positive VR or positive bias voltage. Negative series clipper Negative series clipper with positive bias voltage. So what is the circuit? This is a circuit. This is the load resistance and this is the positive bias voltage and we take the output in this terminals V0. The input is applied between these two points. So, this is uh, the circuit for the negative series clipper with positive bias voltage and how the output appears without the bias voltage, this is the output.
Now, when the applied voltage, when the voltage is uh, positive, then this diode is power biased, and when the applied voltage is more than the VR, then only the diode is power biased, and the applied would, the applied signal appears across the load. Till that time, you get a zero voltage. So we get a zero. Sorry, we get a voltage which is equal to VR. So this is VR. So when the applied uh, input signal is less than VR, then the diode is reverse biased, and the output voltage V naught is equal to VR, as shown here. The moment the applied voltage becomes more than VR, then the diode is far biased, and the input signal appears in full form to the output. Now again at this point the applied voltage is less than Vr so the diode acts like a open switch and you get a constant voltage Vr. So here you can see that the negative portions of the input signal they are blocked or they are attenuated and so these are called as Negative series clippers with positive bias voltage. Now let us see the negative series clipper with negative bias voltage VR. Negative series clippers with negative bias voltage. So this is a circuit for that. Circuit is same except that the bias voltage terminals are reversed. So here input signal is applied. So in this case you get the waveform like this. So when the voltage is positive, the diode is powered by us and you get like this. And when the voltage is negative, when the voltage is more, when the voltage is negative, then when the voltage is less negative, then the also the output uh, waveform it appears here. And when it is out, when the input voltage is more negative, then the signal is chopped off and you get a constant value minus Vr this way. So this is the negative series clipper with negative bias voltage. So when the voltage is uh, uh, positive then the diode is power biased and you get full output voltage uh, which is equal to the input signal. And when the voltage is more negative, then the diode is reversed by us, and the con and a constant voltage minus Vr appears across the output terminals. So this is how the circuit operates. Next, let us discuss about the negative shunt clipper. Negative shunt clipper. So negative shunt clipper, the diode is connected in parallel to the applied input signal. And of course, these are load resistance RL. And this is the series resistance. And the input is applied in these terminals. The output is taken from these terminals, V0. Yeah. And when the input signal is uh,
When input signal is positive, then the diode is reverse biased and it acts like a open switch and full portion of input signal appears across the output. So you get the output this way. But again, when the input signal is negative, when the, in, when the input signal is negative, then this diode is far biased and this diode acts like a closed switch. So uh, there is going to be zero output resistance. So you get the output will form this way. So when there is no bias voltage which is applied to the diode and when the diode is connected in shunt with the input signal then for positive portions of the input signal the diode is reverse biased and it acts like an open switch and full portion of the input signal it appears across the output. So you get output like this. But when the voltage becomes negative then when VA becomes negative, then the diode is far biased and it acts like a closed switch and the voltage across the output terminals is zero. So you get like this. So what is happening here? The negative portions of the input signals are blocked or removed. That's why these are called as negative clippers. Now let us see the negative shunt clipper with positive VR. negative shunt clipper with positive VR. So here this is a load resistance R and this is a diode and this is RL. So positive VR. So what we have to do we have to connect a positive reference voltage is VR. This is of course load resistance and the input signal is here which is fully sinusoidal. So in this case what happens? When the applied voltage is positive, when the applied voltage is positive then the you get this type of waveform. This is plus VR. So when the applied voltage is uh, negative or when it is less than VR, then the diode is far biased and it acts like a closed switch and you get a constant value of VR. But when the applied voltage is more positive, and when it is more than VR, then the diode is reverse biased and it acts like an open switch and you get the replica of input signal at the output. So you get like this. And during this portion again, the diode is forward biased and because the applied signal is less than VR, so you get constant value of VR. So this is how you get the output. Now let us discuss about the negative shunt keeper negative shunt clipper with a negative VR. That means with negative bias voltage. So what is the circuit? The circuit is going to be like this. This is a diode and we have to apply the voltage this way. And this is of course the load resistance RL.
Okay. And the waveform is going to be like this in this case. Uh, So during this portion, the diode B, the diode is powered by Alstom, and you get a constant voltage plus V R, uh, is V R. Here also the it is powered by Alstom. During other portions, when the voltage is uh, uh, positive, when the voltage is positive, then V R, then the diode is the reverse blast and it acts like an open switch and whatever inputs it can be applying, it appears across the output terminals in this way. So in, during this portion, the diode is the reverse blast and the input signal appears in full form at the output terminals. So, clipper circuit is a circuit which uh, prevents the, the undesired portion of the input signal and it uh, allows only the desired portion of the input waveform. And the main advantage of clipping circuits is they eliminate the unwanted noise which is present in the amplitudes. So, they also can work as uh, square wave converters because they can convert. Uh, the sine wave to square waves. And depending upon the which portion of the input signal they attenuate, the clippers are classified as positive clippers and negative clippers. And positive clippers we have the positive series clipper, then positive series clipper with positive VR, and positive series clipper with negative VR, and positive shunt clippers. And positive shunt clipper with positive VR and positive shunt clipper with negative VR. Let me briefly, uh, quickly summarize what we have discussed. And I have taken the most of the diagrams from the electronics tutorials uh, website. So I can I have given the reference to them. And this is a positive series clipper. So as uh, the positive portion of the input signal is chopped off. This is called as the positive series clipper. Only the negative portion of the input waveform is presented at the output. And this is a positive series clipper with positive VR. The diode is connected in series. That's why this is called as series clipper. And the applied BIOS is positive. So that is the, that is why this is called as the positive series clipper. And this is how the Output it appears. And for positive series clippers with the negative VR, the output is going to be like this. So here the circuit is same like uh, the positive series clipper with positive VR. Only the difference is the bias voltage determinants are reversed. And this is a positive shunt clipper. Positive shunt clipper. The diode is connected in parallel with the input signal and it eliminates the positive portions of the waveform. That is why this is called as the positive shunt clipper. So you can see here the positive portions of the waveform, they are blocked, only the negative portion of the waveform appears across the output. And this is a positive shunt clipper with positive VR. So the moment I apply a bias voltage, then uh, the output it is going to be like this. So when I apply a positive VR, some portion of the positive signal also appears across the output terminals. And this is a positive shunt clipper with negative terminal. And in this case, this is the output. And the negative series uh, clippers, 
they are with uh, two forms with positive VR and negative VR. Similarly, the negative shunt clippers are also with the two forms positive VR and negative VR. So, a clipper circuit uh, when the diode is connected in series with the input signal and when it attenuates the negative portions of the waveform, then it is called a negative series clipper. So, you see here the negative portion of the waveform is removed. So, that is why this is called as negative series clipper. And negative series clipper with positive bias voltage, it uh, uh, gives the output waveform in this shape. So, this word, this constant voltage is nothing but Vr. And negative series clipper with a negative Vr is like this, and you get output in this way. And these are the negative shunt clippers, and negative shunt clipper with the no bias voltage. Uh, it gives the output in this way. And when you give a positive bias, then you get the waveform in this shape. And when you give a negative bias voltage, then you get the waveform in this fashion. So I have briefly summarized the clippers. And there are many applications of clippers. They are used for generation and shaping of waveforms. They are also used for protection of circuits from spikes. And they are also used for amplitude restorers. And they are also used as voltage meters. They are used in the television circuits. And also they are used in FM transmitters. So, main applications of clippers are they are used for generation and shaping of waveforms. And they are used for protection of circuits from the spikes, they are used as amplitude rest restorers and they are also used for voltage limiting purposes and they are used in television circuits and they are used in frequency modulation transmitters. So with this, I conclude today's session on clippers. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.